Hello, welcome to the World Cafe Podcast. This podcast has been designed with curated content that centers on the power of words. Can we really do anything without speaking? Can we really do anything without the agency of words? Yes, that is what this podcast is all about. And I am your host, Amakri Isobwe, your neighborhood word trader. I believe in the power of words, for it is the unit of creation. I trade in words to profit my world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. How are you all doing? Ah, beautiful. We are back into that space. Welcome to the Word Cafe live show. How are you doing? I'm doing perfectly well. Yes, this is that space where we come in to lean on one and others' experiences to forge a positive path. You know how we do it on the show. I always tell you this because that is what we come to do in this space. What are we going to be doing today? Yes, you're saying it. My culture, my heritage. I have a wonderful guest. How do I describe him? One who has embraced his passion within the space of culture and has transformed himself via the vehicle of culture and has built a portfolio. Ah, you are wondering, who is this person? Well, I will just call his name and I'll bring him on and he will do all the introduction. His name is Yibo Koko. For those of us from Port Harcourt, River State in Nigeria, within the space of culture, you must have heard that name again and again and again. Enough of my talking. I get to bring him in now. Let me bring him in. And there he is. <laughs> Good evening, sir. You're welcome to the show. Yeah, man. Good evening, sir. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm all right. Thank you for inviting me on your show. Pleasure is mine. You know, before before I got across to you, I was playing back the first time I saw you. I think that was in my senior secondary school, you know, way back in Port Harcourt. You know, that name on uh, then ROS TV and all that. And over the years, you have not changed in that sense rather you have grown leaps and bounds uh, becoming something uh, we will call an enigma within that space welcome to the world cafe live show so how are you doing very fine thank you um we're keeping safe so we thank god that's beautiful i'm going to allow you introduce yourself because i always say it on the show nobody knows you like you do so who is yibo koko uh well <laughs> that's a jump question anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yubokoko is in our usual Portacot way, is a Portacot mm-hmm. boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those who are watching all over the world, Portacot is the capital of River State in Nigeria. But when you claim to be a Portacot boy, it means we are born, bred and bottered in the city of Port Harcourt or its environment or basically we connect, you know, within the knowledge that we have yeah. to grow our city, yeah. love one another, you know, perspective yeah. of your um, ethnic divide within River State. So, you know, we have 23 local government areas and 26 ethnic groups. But yeah. once you are a boy, River State is your primary objective on how we can grow uh, River State to be better, so mm-hmm. I'm a Port Harcourt boy. I went to Township School One Moscow Road, mm-hmm. which is the Port Harcourt proper, and I went to what we call morning session. You know, the <laughs> <laughs> there's a trip when they say you 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 go afternoon school. Me, I no go afternoon school. You know, for those yeah. who are in Port Harcourt or not in Nigeria, you know, I yeah. have to do pidgin English. I love to speak pidgin or broken English. I'm saying by, by all means, by all means. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to Tashi School. No, oh, okay. Well, just before that stint, I was, I went to my community school, what they call AA Amadiama Abloma Central State School. You know, yeah. I did in primary one and two, then Tashi School, then Okrika Grammar School, Okrika. Mm-hmm. Then I attended um, University of Port Harcourt, where I studied theater arts, um, my first degree, and the only degree, actually. Don't mind mm-hmm. me. And then I 
went to St. Catherine's College, Oxford University, uh, to study film um, with uh, the New York Film Academy. They were in, mm-hmm. in London. And so I went to NIFA at St. Catherine's in Oxford. Uh, then got a bit of a kind of semi-scholarship, mm-hmm. either to do my master's or I chose to continue hands-on, you know, for reasons that, you know, if you did for my side, you know, we mm-hmm. prefer to do hands-on. So I went back to LA another year. Um, okay. So I had two years, one year in, in the UK, one year in LA. And when I was done, stayed back a bit, you know, had hands-on behind the scene at the oh. Universal Studios a bit, you know. Yeah. Came back, then I was made um, head of production for Africa Magic for the whole of West Africa. Yeah. But before then, I was a judge on the Nigerians Got Talent show. And even before then, uh, we had started, the world is a stage, as we always say. And mm-hmm. uh, like uh, Shakespeare would say, but after leaving school, um, theater was not as agreeable as we imagined it to be. I mean, having been in school for four years. Yeah. So when we came out of school, you either had to toe the line of joining um, the national troupe in Lagos or work in the arts council. But then mm. either the national theater or the arts council, the payment system is uh, civil service oriented, you know, yeah. you wouldn't yeah. want to bedevil your growth with that kind of mindset. So I went into stage construction. So I was doing a lot of workshops again, even while everybody knew that I did stand up comedy and which yeah. is what propelled me, you know, sorry, I forgot that. So stand up comedy was in school You know, I had my own show called Vaseline Corner and oh. then yeah, when I was done, we started Night of a Thousand Laughs or Day of a Thousand Laughs in Port Harcourt. Yeah, so I remember then. I was done and um, I started building floats. The So when I was in, in Oxford or before then, I think a year before then, the Abuja Carnival started. We were there. Yeah. Um, Calabar Carnival, we were with Master Blaster Band the mm. best band back to back to back to back for three years 2020, 2012, 2013 2014 we were the best band and then mm. the people of the world band in the UK we built a float again so these are the kind of things we were doing behind the scene um, getting to know the trade mm-hmm. uh, getting to know how sustainable the trade will be especially when you don't want to join them at the Arts Council or at the National Theatre so the world became the stage. So currently, after my second dance drama, which is still ongoing anyway, I was appointed the Director General, Chief Executive Officer of the River State Tourism Development Agency. So that's where we are now. Mm, amazing. Now, you mentioned Seki. I was going to come to Seki. Uh, for those of you who don't understand that word, Seki is simply dance you know, from the native uh, Ijo uh, language, which cut across Calabari or Krika and the rest of them. So when we talk about dance, we use that word, Seki. But we're going to come there. Now, clearly, from what you have just put on the table, you are a hands-on person beyond the academics and all that. You, you are not, when I say you're not, you're not that kind of person who follows instruction. You create your path. <laughs> <laughs> from the way you sound already how did you how did you come about all of this how did you realize that see this is what i want to do and this is how i want to go about it stay with us we'll be right back hello nerds come listen to the history nerd united podcast and let's make history fun again we interview today's best authors whether they are established pulitzer prize winners or someone debuting their first book Let us show you that history is not a boring class you took in high school, but a place where the best stories come from. And we don't just cover history. We also love to chat about true crime, biographies, memoirs, and so much more. So head on over to History Nerds United and let us introduce you to your new favorite book and learn the story behind the story. History Nerds United. Okay, let me sound a bit scholarly here yeah, because, you know, I like to read. And as you can see, if we have to come back, um, I have yeah. to shut my library. I can see that. 
yeah so it's um you can see right can mm -hmm. you see it uh -huh. perfectly the books are all yeah. there screaming yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, they're there you know so yeah i love to read really um and when i was in school when i was in in um yeah, from primary school from township school there yeah. uh benjamin okuru um somehow i don't know what he studied but the guy had this remarkable way of getting us together every last Friday of the um, of the week, boys and girls. You know, they, they had competition, so the girls were always top with you know the conversations there in in terms of um, what they had, what the stories they had to tell, any blighting series they had read. You know, exactly. and then I had this not a phobia to appear, but not a complex either, but not too sure of yourself, you know? And every yeah. time the girls will win us. So there's a guy, I remember him so very well, Fidwa Osondo, he's, uh, his mom is German, his dad is from Nimbe, or but okay. he joined, so we used to sit together. Right. And he used to push me like, you know, and I would tell him, come go and speak, he would speak German a lot, but not English very well. Okay. So one day, um, the girls were always, cranking and getting on my nerves because then they win us, they laugh us, like say we don't go to school with them anyway. So one day, you know, I, I can't get liver, you know. So I, I someone feel, I feel you. Yes, you know, and I went on stage. And you know, because for me to attend Tanshi school, most of the times we used to paddle from Amadiama to Marine Base. Okay. Then we act for the Kino and then mm. walk to school. So almost everything was very indigenous, you know, my own experience compared to the girls who had to read and it yeah. blight any of those uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs or around you know, famous, they, they famous, us, famous five and all that. They tell us we go pull their story. But so true. But you know, we had the series of the Totti stories, you know. Mm. Or like, there was always one message, you know, why Totti's back crack, you know, those like, stories then. There's one I love, the child. I uh, there's one about um, why the he goat smells, you know, okay. like you know, um, the spirits farted on him because he stole their chicken, you know. So that story, <laughs> I, I love that story. So, and then the story then had calls and responses, you know. So sometimes yeah. the audience sing along with you, yeah. Almost, my first day with my liver intact, I went on stage, we stole the show. In fact, that day, how we were, or how we were, so I was resenting all the boys anyway. So yeah. for that win, it it covered all that we had lost over the All week. the losses, yeah. So every Friday, I look forward, I had stories like I would go back and and ask more, you know, to tell me more stories based on oral tradition, then I would come. Yeah. come on. So I became champion. You know that time now, <laughs> everybody wanted to be your friend because I was exactly. a good story. But again, <laughs> I didn't know much about the sciences and all of this stuff. You know, you, you yeah. knew a little bit about it, but because the literature was what was good, you know, for me or to me at that point when all I did was read, you know, mm -hmm. listen to stories. So I was readily available, you know, to 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 get more information mm -hmm. in any which way, either by them telling me or by reading. So when I mm -hmm. went to grammar school, you know, I was I was I was good in history, English, religious BK, you know, religious mm -hmm. knowledge. Yeah. Economics get funny, I know they pass away, you know. <laughs> Physics and chemistry in Awaka, anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then in 1982, I saw Olaro Timmy's The Gods Are Not to Blame mm. with Peter Foyza. And that was the first time I saw, not when we do, um, what do you call it? Car Christmas Carol and when we do Jesus Christ Plays. That one, I mean, like, I saw a production with lights, with curtains, yeah. in an armor. Um, I knew that, you know, this I don't know where, what to do. I was going to be. Now here where I belong. I know, I know something. But again, Olaroji was very scholarly. It wasn't just that he was 
a dramatist or a man who wrote. He was very, very, he was a prolific writer and knew the gaps on how to speak, you know. So I found out about the man. And um, years after, I, I enrolled to study theater arts, okay. you know, in the to the anger of my family who wanted me to study law. Mm. But beyond that, I think as a vision is the art of seeing things invisible. Um, so I had in some way seen myself, mm. you know, from the point of view, as they will say, or the axiom that says there's no business like show business. So for the feel good, if not for anything, for the feel good, we were busy yeah. getting on the feel good. Even in the university, it was all about the feel good. You know, mm. people loved you. The girls liked you. The guys wanted to hang out with you. Mm. You know, you had yeah. to study more. Then they, there were no social medias then. So you had to, either someone is telling you a story, you're learning how to tweak the stories from the person to own the story. And yeah. then, that's how it was for, for and so we applied whatever it was that we learned studying theater, you know, yeah. to comedy. And all of a sudden, one was doing so well on the popularity uh, popularity plane. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. So gradually it was good. We made some money, but not that the primary objective then was to make any money, but it was all about the feel, feel good. Um, you know, being the showman, you know, exactly. going to do it and comedy was not something that was very popular. Then all of a sudden, the guys will sing, you know, and then I had to lace some of my comedy with music and all of those mm-hmm. stuff. You know? So it was really, really, really good. But the tragedy of all of this goodness was after the university and coming to the real world, after NYC, and you noticed that the university was shielding you more or less. Yeah, but the reality check was you you couldn't make money from, you know, because nobody took you serious anyway. Mm. The creative space was more for feel good. It was not sustainable. They didn't understand the sustainability of it. But years after, yeah. where we, you know, um, in retrospect, I will look back yeah. and what I have, what I learned then, you know, is what I'm using now, you know, to push, to conform to what is happening today. Yeah. Ask, you know, what is it that had pushed you over the years? It's the fact that, you say, um, so whatever that is um, vividly imagined, ardently yeah. desired, sincerely believed, must inevitably come to pass. So I believe, I've always believed in the art, you know, so even as a performer, I've always believed, you know, that you see Oibo people as they go talk up. You mm. go see TV, you go here, see, they, they make money from what them they do. And what mm. are they different from what you're doing? You, you have to ask yourself, this, well, what is different? So when I became a judge on the Nigeria's Got Talent, you know, I also got to understand that. But sometimes, again, and I had one root awakening once again. I, I I I know the value for what I do anyway. But sometimes they push you. But there's a time I was to build a float. I won't forget. I knew what that float was, you know, in terms of construction, you know, and the yeah. people. Like, and I worked for like seven days, non-stop, morning to mm. night, more than wow. sixteen hours. I put to do a job. Wow. And then nowhere. From nowhere. We requested for 15 million. I remember that uh, um, was it 2006. So you can imagine mm-hmm. that. Long. And we were paid five million. Wow. So the person took nine million. I didn't know because they sweet talked me into. But somehow, you know, sometimes for the love of the art, you know, you go leave the things and then you go begin. When the show don't finish, you will come begin yeah. to look at what you make for all those things. But the person will be they pay, use your quotes to get um, the right money. Yeah. yeah. Paid you and then, yeah. So when I got to know years after, you know, that's also changed how I, I began dealing with, you know, people who want to uh, pay for the art or, mm. you know, the question is what's the value you're putting on the table. So, 
if I'm not blabbing too much, when I just, not. at the point in my life, you know, if you have to ask these questions again, what influenced me? At the point in my life when I had graduated and my boss, I remember Mr. Bennett Karam told me, if I am this disgruntled, if I continue after the university, searching to do the creative or get into theater, yeah. I might get so, you know, unhappy doing what I love that I will now decide to go and work in the bank or do something different. Sure. Instead, take your four years experience in university and mm. walk, let the world be your stage. So I worked in presidential for five years, you know, assistant okay. PR to banquet supervisor. You know, I wasn't a banquet manager, but I was more in the banqueting, you know, okay. so it was more outdoor catering, yeah. with, you know, workshops. I had to learn how to uh, set crockeries, you know, mm. late, you know, use the handkerchiefs to make boats, make caps, and all of those things, you know, I owned yeah. them, things. I did all of those things, you know. Then we had some, you know, uh, trainings from Shell, then we had this contact with Shell. So I was now learning on the job on how to do theater, but from a different angle. Perspective. Our clients were our lead characters, so to speak. You know, our job was to make sure things would work for them. So I did exceedingly well as a copper, as a staff in, in the hotel. Then I was made um, um, executive assistant to the group general manager. That was when I resigned. Mm. And working. So five years, four years in university, five years working in presidential with the Lebanese. And learning more, the percentage of my work was more with catering. You know, okay. outdoor. We go to um, when Shell had all those their offshore things. I used to be mm. station manager um, at the locations. I'll be on the barge. You know, we go to the rig. You know, it was an experience. All of those things you don't buy them overnight. So all of those things put together, you know, shaped my life to the level that when. I now went to school to study film. The content for what I know about film is definitely from my village, from my indigenous people. Okay. But the technology is Western. Mm. Mm. Aha. <laughs> from, 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 what, from what you just said, now more or less you got your, your framework for doing what you're doing today from all of the experiences you've had, you know, from all like presidential, as in other hotel, you know, on the badge, offshore and all that. So the business sense to what you're doing now came from those experiences. Yes, please. Beautiful. Now, there's something I want to ask you. The first day I saw you dancing, I was asking myself, this guy has happy feet, as in you have happy feet, but there's a way you the dexterity to to how you use them even the the ladies are a little bit taken aback i saw you you did one or two things then omon your bully came like you were, can you show me this thing you're doing how you do it and she couldn't i mean figure it out what is it with you and dance what is it with you and dance um it's a way of life and like i said if you the experience from my community, Amadiyama, going to um, Tanshi School to tell those folk stories, you know, in the competition. Mm. Yeah. Don't forget, that's just one part of the community life. Yeah, so we have true. many masqueries they call Enamawari Kama, which is more like before. So if you know the carnivals, right? So yeah. during the carnivals, um, you know, they have the um the mass camp so the mass you know the so mass camps mm. you know where yep. the bands you know rehearse where the bands create their costumes you know but in the villages yeah. how do you know which masquerade is going to be playing that year in the still of the night about 2 a.m 1 a.m yeah. somewhere yeah. either in one compound as you say the one biri or Maybe. somewhere, uh, not in a bush, but in a park that is only for the it's sec- members. It's secluded. Yes, you know. You begin to hear the drums in the still of the night. Even when me, I small then, the mm-hmm. dexterity. The, you, you, 
a coafie. Não, não. E agora, e aí, e de e aí, o medula. Aí, eu agora, o Not guitar, this is not you know, like saxophone, but the beauty of the rhythm, you know. I know. But the curiosity made me want, I go beg my mama. So I joined a woman, a woman in Bila, you know. Mm, yeah. And um, today, when I hear her, can get them, 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 you see um, when I watch does it never look onto him whom you think is more beautiful than you and imitate for in you you have your own beauty so I will set myself waiting I get to compliment waiting I they see mm. so when I hear the drums eh I don't notice in my body they move where well. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I've never smoked in my life. I've never taken alcohol anyway. But, bros, when the drum enter body, uh, you know, in, it, it, releases, it releases an influence that you, <laughs> that you come under. <laughs> so, but so, you now ask yourself, over the years, even when I dance, you know, and I don't dance and I have arthritis, you know, but the most remarkable thing about what I'm saying is that there are hundreds of people that can mm. dance better than I do. That's the funny part. Yeah. In my community, I did learn work uh, when they, they dance. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Then they yeah. get the way, I, I they look them now, but, you know, I, me too, we get the way they dance my own so that when the man waits, I be dancing. Look me too. He go so more. Oh, this guy too, they dance. This guy they dance. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I feel that, you. It, 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 it's complementing what you learn visually yeah. with how you react to what you learn, you know, and then you push that out. So before you go back to Seki, how Seki came about, you know, yeah. but all of these things in the community, there's a, a child brought up in a home with many years of culture living, you know, yeah. understanding life from a different perspective true having lived in the community having schooled in the township mm-hmm. having gone back to the community and aspired to be like a township person the key thing to the growth you know that i have earned is getting the things from my community because that has shaped me over the mm-hmm. years you know, i was a judge on the nigerians got talent show and if you watch the talent show by Simon Cowell. And I know when we had our workshops and then the, the the major thing about it is there's no business like show business, you know. Yeah. The first period when the content people get um the contestant. So if you're very bad, you know, you're good at being bad. Mm. If you're Everybody very being bad. You're good at very at being good. So it depends on your so your if you're very bad, you know, they 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 they, they push the question to make that person look so good that so when it gets bad, you know, like you go say, Oh my god, but at the same time, it's all about content and how the content will push it. So when you watch the guy that is good in the first instance, you only see America's got talent or British got talent or Ukraine mm. got talent or you work or whatever got talents you just see that they don't they just get the technical support but it's all about the talent yeah As talent gets four yeses or remarkably the person has a likability factor and becomes yeah. so extraordinary and you get a golden buzzer when you get to the next stage all the elements of your raw talent is moved to show business True. You have the costume maker, uh, costumier. You have the the makeup artist. You have the sound guys. You have the choreographer. Depending on what your act or act mm. is, you know they put everything together, and then that is where the next phase of your stardom. And if you are knowledgeable to get into the contemporary society, then your digital footprint begins to grow. You will agree with me. We're having a swell time. That uh, Yibo Coco. 
embracing his culture and uh, more or less churning, he has ch- not churning, he's turned it into uh, a profitable portfolio for himself. And for those of us who are from, like I said earlier, from this part of the world, who've followed him closely. Ah, oh, I've been having a swell time. I know you are. I mean, hearing him speak about his passion and all of that, it's amazing. You know, so we'll just wait for him to like uh, get his power bank up. Then we'll get back to the conversation again. You know, yes, I am discussing with Yibo Koko today, my culture, my heritage. And he's just telling us about dance, Seki, as we call it from this part of the world. We've not even gone into Seki yet, you know. <laughs> so what has shaped me has always been in the first instance, the the parts where it covers the feel good parts. Yeah. So what I did then was the feel good. You know, it was all about how it made me feel, you know. Yeah. In- of how reactionary it was with the next person. So when we are playing the masquerades in the community, it was a happy. It was a happy period, yeah. and you know, we didn't know much about monetization. Mm. You understand me? We didn't know much about monetization, mm. and it was about to feel good. But again, I had worked for five years after university, so yeah. I was earning. So I was a nine to five person earning even if i was learning on the job you know yeah. and i didn't value with my four years in university but when i left and uh, with what i had i pumped into what i believed i had learned so i had my own show then we did we started doing thousand laughs but we discovered that just from the gate taking wasn't just enough so even when we were not losing but we're not making enough compared to all that we have put in place. And then you now consider that that show is once a year. Yeah. So what would you, what, how do you make money for the next 11 months? So if I have now to go back to what I was saying about the, um, the talent show, talent show, right? So once they identify your talent and they push the next idea, what that means is they now begin to collaborate with all the elements of show business. Yeah. Oh, so collaboration becomes key. So while you are the person getting the particular content, mm. the art itself, every other act that embellishes your art is put in place. Yeah. And that's how the artist begins to grow money. Mm. Yeah, so I don't sing. And even when I dance, my dance is not like ballet or any of the contemporary dances. No. These are dances from my community. These are dances from my very 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 traditional. Yeah, so how are you going to break even with that? The churches today, again, with what has been happening that has bedeviled our region, like, you know. Yeah. And, you know, the tradition and ways of life are almost extinct anyway. So yeah. the contemporary people, like in my village, I can tell you free of charge, there's no there's no 35-year-old person. They've all moved so out. Let me, let me, yeah, yeah, 35 years. I left school in 91, so 91 is there, yeah. There's no 35-year-old person. Because I remember the last time we did the Wama was in 87. Mm. And before 87, we had done uh, Wama like 84. Okay. So, after the last performance in 87, that dance was no way. It was only when I started doing Seki, I had to borrow from that experience, you know, from Wama. You know, I laced that a bit into Seki when I was teaching them how to dance the dance in a more contemporary setting. Yeah. So, you now see that with what I know, I mean, in terms of traditionally, mm-hmm. and what I know technically, yeah. how am I going to pay my bills if I love to dance, if I love to act, and the system does not, you know, appreciate the monetary parts of my art 
you know, unless they have one function, they want me to come. And also, if the functions are not always, you know, they are all, they're not willing to pay your price, you know, exactly. or someone is willing because they'll say, ah, only to do MC, you want charge, you know, not mm. just to hold microphone. They're not looking at the value you bring to the table. So, exactly. but thank God, all of those things have changed. So you see that with collaboration, yeah. as an artist on the show, and as a producer who is watching, who is bringing the money, they begin to see the artist as a money spinner. So all yeah. the elements to grow the artist begin to play. Yeah. So now how does that, you know, trickle down to me as a villager? Mm. Right? We don't do Broadway. We've seen Shakespeare and plays for crying out loud. Yeah. We've heard about uh, East Killers. Achilles, mm. Hercules, Zeus, mm. Troy, Troy, yeah, Odysseus. Yeah. <laughs> all those things we don't need. All the whole pantheons of the Greek mm. and their mythological stories, you know. And then we also know from oral tradition some of these stories. And they are in conflict with those who preach, you know, every day because they, the way they narrate the stories, you know, they, you mm. know, African stories are filled with the myths with the, the with the is it the mysticism or the mystery mystery of it all mm -hmm. is 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 the is the beauty of the african narrative and the way this mystery go day then juju don't enter inside and <laughs> when they put them like saying that juju mm -hmm. then you've lost the narrative the from, narrative true it tickles for you both fancy your yeah. home front they're not at trot tickled you know because so now, you know, the beauty of knowing is that it's your power. Yeah. You know, and all of a sudden, I have a daughter who is 22. I want to have conversations with her. I'm like, okay, I see they learn some things, you know, because their worldview <laughs> and ours is a bit different. Yeah. So, but that worldview yeah. come, and I come from an era where for me to grow my brand, I have to use what she knows, you know, and deploy what I know. So going back to what is happening on the talent show. So you now see that yeah. I now began applying the structure of using yeah. the contemporary technology. When we're in the university, mm -hmm. for you to build a stage, you know, it was always Paco Carpenters and others. But these days, just meet the animator, you know, exactly. let them design the the that and then just put digital screen all over. Then when the we green screen school, and all that. It was global. So all the visuals begin to come. And when those visuals complement the drums, the costumes, yeah. the color, the clutter, mm -hmm. the narrative. So you see yeah. now, all of a sudden, that village thing where everybody they see as nonsense, you both don't add value within group. So now even the guy who is a better dancer than I am, I assumes erroneously that I'm a better dancer because my packaging is on a level beyond his imagination. True. So what I do, collaborate still, I still go back to them. I say, guy, you sabi dance, come. This thing where you they use as feel goods, mm. it will give you money. And once this, you begin to show, the money begins to show that these things that you do in the communities, then you see that we're on another level. True. So even our drums, we pack, we bag our drums, like we have, um, uh, like the music case, like drum case, we 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 got we put foams, you know, our yeah. our, our music case when we're traveling. You think we are we are with one uh, violin or no no no? Is our local yeah. drums local drums to make anyway? Yeah. So that the things uh, so we 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 collaboration has become the watchword, you know, to push in the art forward because it is more sustainable. You can monetize it if you know it. So performance is one part of it. How many times have you seen Seki? And I can tell you, you've never seen Seki on stage. But no. you know Seki because of how deliberate our digital platform, you know, yeah. pushing the idea of Seki. So yeah. Seki could be in your cup. Seki could be in your T-shirt. Yeah. Seki could be an effigy, like mm. how incredible, how mm. or uh, Spider-Man, you know. Spider-Man so or Superman. Our, yeah, we do all of those things. So, Seki can be in the canvas. Seki can be 
in you know is you merchandise that's 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 where we should be going to yeah so that yeah. when you now go for broadway mm. merchandise alone gives you over 40 plus percent of the income on the road because mm. digitally everybody's curious to know where this is coming from and the second narrative states very clearly that the american yeah. tap dance evolved from the indigenous people where i come from so are you going to argue that who are you it's when mongo park wrote his stories he was <laughs> he wrote the stories from his, his own point of view anyway i'm and writing he, my own now so the whole world believed him so who be mongo park to discover river benway that has been here since he discovered it for you people not for exactly. us exactly exactly so, exactly so we are telling our stories based on yeah. oral tradition stories mm-hmm. our far, 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 far. so we we all our mythical stories are beginning to add up come alive so sex is not just a dance okay. african dance is business to us mm. or for us so it's not mm. just the kunju seki or the mm. more seki or mm. the general seki it's yeah. about sensitizing our people on our culture and that yeah. you can also grow pay your bills you know train your kids you know yeah. what doing second that's the whole idea beautiful i knew i told you we have just 40 minutes but i always tell my guest the minute we start talking you don't know where time flies to and it's like <laughs> you mean we've been talking for the past you know what this is this is so refreshing you know hearing you talk about seki you know from the layman perspective ah, seki like dance okay ah the waist dance the leg dance and all that but from what you have explained it is beyond the dance we're talking about the business of dance here now and how dance can change our lives economically and i mean just name it now i'm going to ask you maybe two more questions before i let you go now from where you are as the dg because you are more into like uh what i call it now the management of this business now in river state so what 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 are you seeing in terms of the youth getting the youth involved engaged and pushing more of this out there to like defeat the wrong narrative um before i answer your question let me just go back a bit you know okay um i remember when cnn i mean they have done cnn comes into or al jazeera or bbc you know what they say when i'm good my mother never hears it. when i'm bad she does so yeah. bad stories are told you know faster bad stories are good news for 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 the lens isn't it mm-hmm. and you know, it's always a bad bunkering, always spillage, you know, when CNN comes into our region, you know, yeah. they go and see go fire, you know, they go and mm. see how our life, nothing good, you know, is always out there. And then we we thrive in the empathy narrative, you know, yeah. you know, so nobody. So what we did with Seki or what we're still doing with Seki is not just to change the narrative. We, we know that these things, they do exist. Mm. But so also is it all over the world. It is how you push it, you know, and how you can use what you have, you know, yeah. to change the community that is key. So yeah. what Seki did was do enough for CNN to be curious to do the interview, to understanding what we're all about. And once yeah. we were on CNN, the same dance we did for Market Square, so for mm. all of the advocates, you know, in our region, none yeah. when don't come get CNN to all of a sudden it's a dance from the local community that is being mentioned on um, uh, on CNN and then we're having quality time all over the world. Then then yeah. after CNN we have the China Chinese Global Television Network, CGT, and they came, did the interview, same to with BBC. And what yeah. have we do with saying that the American tap dance involved from our region? And yeah. even when we have X, Y, Z of challenges, the beauty of our art, you know, can push and sustain us if you guys will stop, you know, discussing oil and gas and politics because there are other things like farming in this yeah. community. So we're, we're deciding to push this part of the narrative. So yeah. if Seki is a drop of water in an ocean, this is my job is the ocean itself. Yeah. But because 
the value chain of the ocean is left, you know, suspect. The people who should be swimming in the ocean are suspicious of what is in the ocean. Mm. So they rather stick to the drop of water, which is my second, because they've seen that on CNN. You yeah. know, they've seen it on BBC. They value that. They respect that. But I said, look, yeah. I'm, I'm still the DG. But you see, Seki, I don't report to anybody. I work with my team. Yeah. With the DG work, I have been seconded, so to speak, to work for government now because I got a text for me to come to work. And of course, I'm from River State, so let me come yeah. to work. And when we came, we looked at the trajectory and the things there. We got ends and young. Some of our guys and answering you know, we stayed six weeks in presidential to chart okay. the path to developing tourism in River State beyond destination. Yeah. We're not going to be Dubai in another how many years, but we could do things the way Dubai does it, using what we have to get what we want. Yeah. So we now broke down, you know, all of our creative assets. You know, for people, you'll always come by with uh heritage side of the thing. See. You have 17 SDG goals. You work with United Nations and break every part of your art within the SDGs, right? Yeah. And then you right. show that United Nations, the African Union, they have programs all over the years that mm. even 2021 was the United Nations International Year of the Creative Economy for Sustainable Development. The African yeah. Union declared 2021 to 2030 as the year for the arts, culture, and heritage. Port mm. Accord one of the four cultural zones in Nigeria. So Whoa. our job then was to grow a conversation. And what is the conversation is understanding in the first note what tourism is. Because once you understand tourism, especially from the domestic point of view, so if yeah. the Abolima man can visit Bile or mm. the Bile man can go to Buguma, or mm. the Bugum man can go to Okrika, then yeah. internally, we are beginning to understand ourselves. Yeah. And River State, in, with 23 LGAs and 26 ethnic groups, culture is our strength. So I know we are diverse. So River State is more like the microcosm of Nigeria as much as Nigeria mm. is the microcosm of Africa. So yeah. our diversity is also our being. Mm. You understand me? So I always give this example. If a man in Ishoko has monkeys littered around Ishoko and is hungry, the monkey is bushmeat. But if that monkey is going um, extinction, and environmentalists and people who know all of these things come to Ishoko mm. and say, we need to preserve these monkeys. Yeah. And in the preservation, there's money to building the environment to keep the monkeys. Now, yeah. monkeys like banana. So we can begin to get banana plantation in where Ishiopo. Ishiopo. Why people begin to visit Ishiopo to look at these species of monkeys, right? Yeah. They can they buy, buy to feed the monkeys. And the guy who used to before kill monkeys to eat is not telling the, the monkeys. Oh, so, you see now. So monkey business is good business. So yeah. once you begin to explain and grow this kind of conversations then they know that it is not just about visiting somewhere that is tourism. Tourism is a yeah. way of life, but you must be receptive. Yeah. So, Kani Reef has always been what is synonymous with, with tourism in River State. Once they do a carnival on the street, but yeah. how sustainable is it's that? Bad. It's not feel, they feel good. So, once government gives you money, you do a carnival. After the carnival, is gone. What next? What you next? wait again for another 11 months to do the next carnival. What have you done sustaining the people within the period? All of the creatives. So, what we now did was grow, I mean, we brought up a, a, an RFBF, Revenue Based Finance Strategy Program yeah. um, to raise 100 billion Naira to uh, 4 trillion Naira to grow our IGRO 20%, 40%, 60% to 80% within the mm -hmm. creative space. Now, you see, when you see me do dance from the waist and you compare it to what is being done in the village, you know, when there's a barrier, that's when, how yeah. much you yeah? So, yeah. you don't understand it. Yeah. So, when we begin to talk about these things from this 
So I wonder, okay, so what do you think I'm doing? Saki is billed to perform on the 30th of Sep- of July. That's next week. Next, next week. week yeah. yeah, at uh, St. Anne in Jamaica as part of the 60th anniversary. So we're Whoa. going. Anyway. We are built in New York on the 30th of, um, I mean, 1st of October. So mm. even if I'm not going, the brand is there. They're going. You know, yeah. I'm working. I have something to do. But the brand is is going somewhere. We're getting people to have equities inside Seki so we can we can we can control that. So, but with 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 the government work, you know, we have to report to get up yeah. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. So we, we have to keep so that's why we're praying, you know, that we, we keep letting them know that when we're in school, and I said this free of charge, you had the cult groups in school, right? The confrats, you know, and yeah. you have them. If we had a show in school. One of the best ways, you know, what made them break bottle for your your show, is to go and meet the capos of each of the frat members. Give them, mm-hmm. give them what do you call it, um, the tickets. Once they agree to come, even they're relieved that there's a truce that you, the show organizer, mm-hmm. have put in place for them to come to watch. So imagine when someone who is always scared of coming out, but because there's a truce, he comes to watch you, and all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Is a so boy playing guitar. He mm. comes to whisper to you, ah, I they play guitar. I say play guitar. You know, say hey, they play guitar. Come for I say, boy, he doesn't know it. But by the time you give him an assurance that nothing will do him because you don't talk to him, then there are guys who could be a singer, a rapper. Before mm. you know, called guys and now session men. And really, this is what they want to do. But because there's no alternative to what they're doing, as they say. Yeah. An idle brain is the devil's amusement park, not even a workshop, anyway. Yeah. So, so that's that's how it's planned with Psyche. That's how it's planned. So, in in on the job as DJ River State, we keep and we're still growing this conversation yeah. because people want to do cannery. We've not gotten approval. 84 percent of the population wants cannery. So it is not. It is my job to create. The carnival. We have met with the people from Barbados. We've met with the ECOWAS missions. In they are yeah. willing to a heritage carnival that is like first time because we don't mm. want to do Caribbean style carnival because the Caribbean style carnival will not bring inbound because for you to watch a good Caribbean carnival, go to Brazil, go to Trinidad, go to London, but mm-hmm. to watch an African carnival where the Portuguese came to take and go. When you yeah. push down to very well, then they will want to be curious to come to your town because we have direct flights to Port Harcourt anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so we that's, do. It. That, that's, that's how it works. So yeah. being the DG is to grow a conversation where we can tell you that the smartphone and the smart way is the best way to do things now. You don't necessarily yeah. have festivals when I am talking to you here. Mm-hmm. Right, so it's a smart way, and our culture has to be smart. True. Yeah, so it's, it's it's a bit it's a bit you know I, I'm doing I'm doing it with my brand, so I understand that it's it's moving. So you can imagine yeah. Bobby, can imagine Ukrika, can imagine mm. uh, uh, Opobu, you can imagine mm. Bile, you can imagine. Yeah. In fact, let me tell you, so in February mm. I went for what they call the Agri Festival in Bile. Mm. In all years as a reverse man, I have never quote me seen any festival that captivated mm. i know even believe the the native drama yeah the culture the yeah. elephant talk dated 300 years where they carry to play over 30 guys performing mm. delay and i like almost we have these kind of things in our state you know, <laughs> so that, that's our, so that's what the agency has to do, which is keep pushing the conversation for yeah. them to know feel good is feel good. But people all over the world are monetizing the feel good. Mm. So discuss with church elders, the young people that you're suspecting are very you know divided with you no. Know, there's a value chain. Yeah, what you know is good for you. You work on yeah. it. You know yeah. and. That's collaboration anyway. So yeah. what the agency is doing is, like I said, is keep growing the conversation because we know that with 23 LGAs, we know it with 26 ethnic groups in River State, and then we mm. have a low-hanging fruit 
strategy where we have okay. a photographic competition. It's it's um, where our website had issues. We had to um, move from org to dot uh, gov. Yeah. So that okay. that movement delayed. So by I'm sure that before the first of August we are on with that. So we have a <clears throat> videographic competition. In fact, day before yesterday, no, yeah, on Monday, yes, I had, <clears throat> sorry, yesterday, I had a talk with, um, with the Wikipedia people. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to collaborate with Wikipedia, you know, as part of doing our composition in River yeah. State, you know, incentivizing, you know, the process. So videographic yeah. competition, photographic competition, that's what we call myths and legends. You know what I told you about mythological yeah. stories of yeah. If people bring in, you know, the stories by creating um, an anthology, and from this yeah. anthology, creating um, animated series of the anthology, we are looking mm-hmm. at the best way to work with. Uh, uh, Walt Disney with these our fantasy stories, you know, in Africa, but within yeah. our. So these are the things the agency is working beyond the the street parade, which is what they know tourism to be in our region. Yeah. So, yeah. but because we know, so we have to be responsible with that knowledge, and the more people we get a buy-in, you know, and what the agency is doing is allow them drive it themselves, you know. So mm-hmm. if comedian come be a part of it, your photographer come be a part would look at those who understand the business part teach them how to do as long as you have viable propositions you know for you to work with then we teach yeah. you how to create those viable propositions and proposals for you to not look for sponsorship but look for partnerships with people partnership. to move with other. so so that's that's what we're doing from that part but the dance is um Seki for me incentivizes me to do a whole lot and so sometimes when I'm quiet, you know, I see talk to my people and they were yeah. rehearsing, waiting. Yeah. We're doing um, the Cardinal, which is um, okay. is on Rex Lawson, but more on the Portacot um, high life scene high life. in the late than early 70s. Uh, mm-hmm. we've, we've done a four month rehearsal, just scoring the music. Okay. We're actually going into STEM recording while the lawyers are meeting with um, the the people that own the rights to the music, the you music. know, the, the estate of uh, Rex Lawson again, you know, yeah. we're working, uh, they were also doing uh, uh, Belgam's Old Coro. Mm. Um, it was a play back, it's a conflict of uh, uh, tradition with the, the European incursion, you know, yeah. in the Bani Kingdom. So it's a very, very, very good story. And I shot a movie, my first feature, uh, Three Trumps and the Law. Um, mm. We're hoping to get it ready and see if it can be original for either Netflix or Amazon. And then I have another movie, uh, another feature written by Amaka Igwe. Before she okay. passed, she gave it to me uh, years ago. Um, Tunde Babalola has done the edit. So, um, well, we're ready. So there's a whole lot in the creatives, you know, and we're trying to see how we can bring Portacot to be the hub, you know, it was before with this kind of positive conversations and letting yeah. them know that it's not just about politics, it's not just about oil and gas, but the creative economy is sustainable. And let's all work together to making that work for all of us in Port Harcourt and the River State. Thank beautiful, you. Beautiful, beautiful guys. You will agree with me if I allow you, Bokoko, we won't leave this space. You know, from should I say, uh, male viewing, you would think there's nothing happening, but he has, he, he didn't just give us the tip of the iceberg. He has given us some part of the iceberg. There's still more as in under the neat there, you know, the, the, the whole gamut of the economy, the, as it has to do with culture and all that within River State. And I must tell him a very big thank you. You know, before I brought like I said, before I met you to like, come on, this show was just like, okay, where do we, where do we take this conversation from and to? And honestly, I see where the conversation is going. And I know when we call on you again, like to give us progress report on this aspect, you won't say no. We want to say a very big thank you for honoring us and coming into this space to share with us. But before I let you go, I always do this. What is that word? Look into your camera that word not just to reverse it not just to put Harcourt, but to the world about what i mean the future of this culture this heritage sustainability wonderful sustainability guys you heard it it's possible the future is possible and 
uh, there's nothing like selling that good narrative out there. You hear it every day. You see it every day. It becomes a reality. Thank you so much. Guys, we must let him go now. You know, he has a lot taking this time to come do this with us. We say a very big thank you. But the way we say it, always on the show. This is where we come in to lean on one another's experience and forge a positive path. Till we come your way again. Bye for now. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Before we sign off, I just want to encourage you. Yeah, it's been a wonderful time. And also, I'd like to hear from you your feedback. You know, you've been listening to the World Cafe podcast. I would love to hear from you the feedback. If you have any questions, yeah, you go ahead and ask those questions. You can reach me at my email address, amakri garibaldi at gmail.com. Amakri is A M A C H R O D. Double E G A R I B A L D I at gmail.com. Yeah, and uh, we'll get back. You know how we do it on the show. Thank you. Part for time it has been with you on the Word Cafe podcast today. Thank you for being there. You can catch me up on my social media handles, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, all at Amakri Isoboye. Also, you can get copies of my books, A Cocktail of Words, The Color of Words, and my HR Notebook on Amazon and on Robin Heights online bookstores. You can also subscribe to my YouTube page at the same address. Yes, till we see you again. Bye for now.